I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. Exam Calculator section. College Board gives us the graph of what their answer choices tell you. It's a quadratic. It says, if A, B, and C are positive constants, which of the following could define the function R of X? And your knowledge of quadratics should tell you if A is positive, negative A will be negative, which means the quadratic opens down, as this graph does. If A is positive, these two will open up, so choices C and D are not correct. The question is, if B is positive, is it X minus B quantity squared or X plus B quantity squared? And this is vertex form. The vertex is the point B, C, or in this case, negative B, C. Since the vertex is in quadrant one, where both B and C are positive, Choice A is the correct answer, and B is not correct. Alternatively, if you don't have that intuition for quadratics, you can go to your graph and calculator if you have one, and try, for example, make up numbers. A equals 1, B equals 1, I'll try C equals 1, and see how that looks in choice A. If I tried choice C or D, they would open up, and I'd know that wasn't right. In choice A, um, standard window, it looks like it goes through the origin, so I'm going to try C equals 4. Oh. I went with 4 partly because I could change the number without using my eraser, and with C equals 4, it looks like this, which is very much like their picture. And so choice A would be the correct answer. You should know vertex form for a quadratic, and you should know that if you replace x with x minus b, you move to the right by b. Since this vertex moves to the right, choices A or C would be correct. And then, of course, since the leading coefficient should reflect that the parabola opens down, we need the negative. Come back soon for my next SAT video with math there's always more.